going to try something new today. Five stories in one shot. Right? Truth news, right? We'll do maybe truth short stories, right? Try try that for uh, try that out for size. Right? So I'm I'm in transition here. I'm using new software. I've had a bit of a it seems like some sort of change of heart. I don't know. I mean, I I look at look I look at I look at stream of thought, stream of consciousness, kind of like uh, like the weather. You know, sometimes. It's just like, you know, sometimes, some days are clear and sunny and bright, and other days are, you know, clouds and rainy and, and uh, storm-like, you know? So I feel like, you know, when, when new stuff comes down the pipe and, and the political, uh, you know, the, the political uh, field changes, it's kind of like the clouds roll in and, you know, and you get all stormy and you, don't, you, you lose your footing. I feel like, you know, maybe I've... I've lost my footing and I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get my footing back, right? Or maybe I haven't. Maybe it's just all in my mind. Maybe I'm just crazy. But here's the great news today. Damn, look what I just got in the fucking mailbox. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look, new stickers, right? Remember the, remember the, um, so we're going to call these classic and modern. Classic stickers. Oh, you got to get some, man. He's going to be a collector's item because I'm running out of them. And and modern, the modern stickers. I got a box of these, right? So fucking damn. So how do you get your hands on these? These are cool, man. So you can, I, I this is what I do. I got one on. I wear this when I go out, like so I look cool, right? <laughs> Not really, but when I'm reporting on the street, who are you? I'm this guy right here, and I'm also this guy. Fuck, yeah, man. You can do that. You can wear that. But here is uh, here's how you get get your hands on some stickers, right? Damn, look at this fucking handsome motherfucker. Uh, this is eBay. You can go on eBay and you can buy them six for five bucks. All right, that's the modern one. Make sure you hit the Marcus Conti modern and Marcus Conti classic. Right, all right, six for five. Right. Also, if you wanna if you wanna become a Patreon, I'll send these to you. Um, I'll give you a bunch if you just sign up for Patreon. I'm trying to get this. All right. So here's the channel. Right. We're trying to move in this age of demonetization, right, to make it sustainable, a sustainable living. I'm going to get to the stories. Just relax a second. I got to <clears throat> do some advertising, right? So on the page, you can PayPal me one shot, right? Also, I'm going to uh, auction off <laughs> or base. I have two, I have <coughs> two yellow vests. Sorry, I coughed in your face. Two yellow vests, right? And if you, if you would be so kind as to put uh, $25 right there, and send that to me, I would be happy to send you a yellow vest. Make sure you include your address, your mailing address, and also I'll sign it. I'll make it look really cool, right? So that's how you could, uh, let's just do PayPal. So I got two vests, first come, first serve. And, uh, but more importantly, this is the, this is the, this is the real shit right now. Now, now, right now. Patreon, right? We got to get this number up to 300 strong, right? We're at 23 right now, right? 300, like the movie. Become a Patreon. You whack this button right here, you become a Patreon, even for a dollar. All right, so let's talk about the news. So there's five stories going on. We'll talk about the, uh, let's talk about Trump's border wall. Right? Border wall. Border wall. So the Republicans, of all people, have shut down Trump and his border wall. In a stunning rebunk, a dozen defecting Republicans joined Senate Democrats to block the national emergency that President Trump declared so he could build his wall, not not uh, not your wall, his wall, <laughs> with Mexico. The rejection capped a week of confrontation with the White House as both parties in Congress strained to exert their power. He got dissed. He got totally, I mean, he's Mr. Republican, right? We need more Republicans. Well, here's what the Republicans did to him. 59-41 tally Thursday following the Senate's vote uh, a day earlier. To end the uh, U.S. The, also, the, there was a vote to end uh, the war in Yemen. That was Bernie Sanders that put that forth, and um, Ro Conan. That was a good move right there. Right? So, so Trump will 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 tr uh, will uh, veto the stop the war in Yemen, and he's going to also veto the no wall and uh, no the, the 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 no wall proposal that the Senate is going to throw at them, right? So what was the grounds for doing it? Here was the vote. Are there any senators wishing to change their vote? If not, the yeas are 59, the nays are 41. The joint resolution is passed. 
So the joint resolution passed that there would be uh, no emergency declared, right? And what's the grounds? This is constitution, a constitutional question. It's a question about the balance of power that is the core of the Constitution, Romney said. Now, now there's a Constitution. Whenever the Republicans don't get what they want, and now there's a, oh, yeah, yeah, we got a Constitution, right? This is not about the president, he said. This is a good point, though, right? It is a good, it's a good point. Many senators said the vote was not necessarily a rejection of the president or the wall, uh, but projections against future presidents, namely a Democrat, who might want to declare an emergency on climate change, gun control, and a number of other uh, a number of other issues, right? That's a valid point, right? We have a constitution for a reason, right? And Trump is trying to swerve around the constitution, so no wall. You're not getting your wall, right? He'll be out of office by the time by the time this shit gets through through the uh, courts. Sorry. Uh, so what else we got here? So, oh, look at this sexy cop. Damn. Damn, that's a sexy, that's a sexy cop, man. You want to lock me up? I lock me up. So this is a horrible story. Right? Let's talk about a horrible story. Mass shooting at New Zealand kills 49. One man charged. Now, the, the, the thing that we're waiting for in this, right, is it a false flag? Is it this? Is that? Is that a, who the hell knows, right? But what we know is some insane kook walked in and shot 40, and then there was there was actually two separate uh, shootings. Right? I think he did it twice. I, I don't know what the details are, but it's not really important. The most important thing is that he was wearing a webcam on his head, and he was broadcasting live to Facebook. For the love of God, where is the video? Where is that live video of the man doing the doing the dirty deed, right? So that so that all speculation is off the table. He also left a 79-page manifesto. Where's that, right? I can't find anything, man. At least 49 people were killed, and if you see it, put it in the link below. I'd love to see any of that stuff. Were killed in mass shootings at uh, two mosques full of worshipers attend, uh, attending Friday prayers on the prime minister that the prime minister called uh, New Zealand's darkest day. This is crazy, right? This is... This is sick, sicko shit, right? Because people are peaceful people praying and you shoot them. What kind of fucking psychopath are you? It's like there's not, you know what I mean? They should pull this guy, take out the fucking, take out the clippers, take out all the barbaric tools, the fucking scissor, poke out his fucking eyeballs, right? That's, that's the way you treat these guys, right? And you catch them. Uh, so one man is arrested in what appears to be a carefully planned Racist attack. Uh, police, is, police also found explosives in the car, in his car. All right, so it is, it is clear that this can uh, now only be described as a terrorist attack. So people are fucking terrorized, right? You terrorize people, right? Damn, that is one sexy cop. Look at this fat bastard right there. This fucking gut sticking out. But look at this sexy cop. Oh man, look, he's got a radio and a gun. Oh, baby, what a. <laughs> so, um, so, so, I mean, just a grotesque scene. I'd like to see the video. So we'll keep, keep going with that one when it uh, happens. More diss, diss to the Donald, the Kim Jong un, right? News in uh, Pyongyang, 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 North Korea. Uh, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will soon decide whether to continue diplomatic talks and maintain his uh, memoratorium on missile launches and nuclear tests, a senior North, uh, North Korean official said Friday, adding that U.S. Uh, threw away a golden opportunity at the recent summit between the leaders. Bro, you, you had that guy, he came all the way down to Vietnam in an armored train to meet Trump, and there's no deal, right? Fucking Trump just, Trump just, uh, you know, they, they, somebody, they all walked off to the table. Sometimes you got to walk, you got to walk away from the deal. Did I mention I got stickers, man? You should get some of these stickers, man. Just sign up for, pay, become a Patreon and, and include your address and I'm going to send them to you, man. You're going to get some, you're going to get some stickers, man, on the house, right? All right. So I'm going to also do some hats. See these hats, man? They're popping up in my eBay shit, right? How about one of these on a hat? 
a fucking look at this shit, man. Right, get one on a hat, right? Like have one, like a not not a sticker on a hat, but have a uh, a decal, a a, a a logo, a custom embroidered logo. Right, those are not cheap though. They're like they're like uh, they're expensive. But uh, maybe I'll get a couple hundred of those if if people start. If you buy the vest and you buy some stickers, maybe we could we could. Uh, and become a Patreon. Maybe we could we could get this thing going. Right? So, sorry for the the, uh, the advertisement. Uh, demonetized, right? We're all demonetized, man. I'm fucking choking out here, man. We're choking out here, and every day everybody wants something for free, right? Anyway, so uh, so again, Trump dissed again. The whole uh, he's in bed with uh, North Korea. They're best friends. I I like this guy. Uh, it's all bullshit, right? So North Korea is not moving. On any of their weaponry, right? No troops out of Syria. Venezuela is a fucking mess with with U.S. intervention. Right, come on, man. Come on, wake up. Uh, Israel throws bombs at Gaza. Israel, Gaza fighting ebbs. Gaza rockets reportedly a misfire. Hmm. Right. So Gaza, the Hamas ruled little piece of. The, of Israel, right? Somehow a bomb squeaked out. <laughs> Somebody flipped a bomb at Tel Aviv, right? In the, the capital of Israel. Not funny, right? Who, who shot the bomb in, in Israel? But a hundred bombs flew back at Hamas. Right, let's look a bit. Crossfire between Israel and Gaza's ruling Hamas group appeared to, be, first of all, the, the uh, Gaza, Gaza, the Hamas and Gaza fighting Israel is not a fair fight. Gaza, the, the Israelis are a nuclear power with, with, with F-17 fighter jets or whatever fucking F it is, right? They got fighter jets and bombs and, and heavy, heavily armed men, right? right? Gaza's got shit, right? They're, throwing, they're probably throwing rocks. They got one bomb and they got some more rocks, right? So it's not a fair fight, right? Nonetheless... Crossfire between uh, Israel and Gaza's ruling Hamas group appear to be winding down Friday, right? This is support. Support for Israel is support for throwing bombs at the, in the Gaza Strip, right? right? They're occupying the West Bank, but in Gaza, they just throw bombs in there. They just fucking bomb them, right? Hamas won the election, by the way. That was, that was a U.S. blunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole free, fair elections. It's just like they're doing in... In Venezuela, oh yeah, yeah, hold free and fair elections. They will, and then Maduro will win, and then the U.S. will not, uh, not acknowledge uh, the winner. Right? That's what they did in Israel. Uh, Hamas. They said, yeah, 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 hold. That was, I think, Hillary Clinton was the fucking Secretary of State. Hold, uh, yeah, 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 hold free and fair elections. They did. Hamas won, and the U.S. said, no, fuck you. They're they're terrorists. We're not going to acknowledge it. So now. So the, the, the remedy over there is apartheid, which they're, separate, they're separate, separated by a, a wall right, in Gaza, and uh, the Israeli solution is just get rid of them, right? right? Not, even, you know, not even leave them alone, just get rid of them, right? So responsible for a Gaza rocket, two rockets had struck late Thursday, uh, taking Israel's military by surprise. Overnight, Israel warplanes hit some 100 Hamas targets. The army said targets included an office complex in Gaza City uh, used to plan command Hamas military activities, an underground complex that served as Hamas's main rocket manufacturing site. All right, so they bombed the shit out of them, right? So bombs are still flying in Israel. Right? No, no, no change there. Let's look at this last story. These hats are going to look awesome, man, with one of these fuckers in there. I'm telling you, man, this shit is going to happen, right? So let's nip this one at the bud. I know Bernie Sanders, he's a socialist, he's too old, and he's, a, he's, gonna, he's probably going to win the presidency, right? So here's Bernie Sanders doing what Hillary Clinton should have done and certainly what Donald Trump should have done, right? They shut down, Bernie Sanders is shutting down his, his uh, institution, his foundation, before his presidential run, because he sees it as a conflict of interest. That's a noble man, right? That's a noble thing to do. The Sanders Institute, 
a think tank founded by Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders, wife and son, is shutting down, at least for now, amid criticism that the nonprofit has blurred the line between family fundraising and campaigning. Uh, that's, that's common, right? There's no way around it. But don't. it's not to be compared, it's not to be in the same league as the Clinton Foundation, which was a slush fund. It was a it was a pay for play quid pro quo setup where you put money in the, the Clinton Foundation and you get a favor out the back door. Right? That's what it was. That's what it is. That's what it still is. And that's what it, it, it was invented to be. Whereas Sanders is is that's not the case. But I know Bernie Sanders. You guys will say, oh, his wife cheated in the in the uh, you know she was a, she was a, she owned she she ran a school into the ground. It's all the fucking bullshit stories. Right? If you got a real story. Talk about it. If not, just shut your fucking hole. Right? So, Vermont based uh, Institute has stopped accepting donations and plans to suspend all their op- operations. Great. Good news for, for Mr. Bernie Sanders, right? Stopping all operations, right? <sighs> so, Marcus Conti reporting. Uh, so, some new good news. You know, there's some interesting stories. Let me know what you think of. Uh, you know, speed reading the news. Uh, I, I like it. I, I don't want to, there's nothing really to dive too deep into right now. You know, there's no, I don't want to spin, start spinning conspiracies or whatever, but, but, uh, I, again, I just had a, a change of heart. I feel like, I feel like something in me shifted and, uh, you know, and this, this new, you know, format, I'll be back out on the street doing my thing, but it seems like, like something I've had a change of heart. And I know that, I know that people are that you know viewers because I'm very I'm very, I'm not necessarily interested in changing your opinion, as a you know as a, a subscriber and a commenter and such, but I am I am interested in in inspiration and I feel like um, I feel like my change of heart has caused others to think of me as being arrogant or sh- or short-sighted or um you know and that that it concerns me it's not it's not that i'm going to i'm not going to change why because i'm not for sale and i'm not someone that's just going to start pacifying you and start saying you know things that i i fundamentally disagree with all right I, like i said i've always i've always believed that donald trump was the uh the uh, anecdote for a corrupt democratic party and a corrupt republican party he was the mover and shaker. He got in there and he rattled it up. But fundamentally, I have and always will disagree with his economic policies. I think they're disastrous for the country. Uh, you know, I, I just think that it evidence is in the numbers, right? and we can disagree on that. But I think that it, now that we're moving towards a a new presidential cycle in 2020, right? Again, the elections are rigged. I know they're fake. I probably won't be voting. But I certainly, we certainly will be talking about it. And I do believe in figurehead. I do believe in someone at the top of the echelon, a leader, someone, a leader. Every country, every movement, every country has a leader, right? And I, I do believe in leadership. So I think that, you know, as we move into 2020, I'm going to, I stick with the ideas and the policy, right? And right now, Trump's ideas and policies are not, it, they're not. They, they're leaving a very bad taste in my mouth. Putting all emphasis on a wall and calling that a crisis when you have, you know, forty million people living in abject poverty, you know, with with no little or no uh, uh, income, very little income, hyperinflation, trade wars, jobs leaving, right? And calling the the economy good by pointing to an inflated stock market that's likely to you know blow up invasions in foreign countries, foreign regime change in Venezuela. That's fucked up, man. So there's a lot of negativity in terms of ideas and policy with Trump. And on the, for whatever, whatever you want to call it on the left, right, is, is, is starting to sound better. It's starting to, they have, they have better ideas. Universal health care, Right, I know socialism, right? But socialism, if you don't like so, how can you call me a socialism? Look at my platform. I want to, I want to cut your tax down to, you know, less than ten percent, maybe five percent, maybe zero, right? And I, and I'm the socialist. If you, I want to cut the, 
police force by cut it in half. I want to cut military spending by 80 percent. Right. And I'm the socialist. Right. Those are socialist programs. What I want to do is shift some of that money to give people health care so that we could stop crying about that. Right. And get big pharma off our back. Right. I want to cut the military spending because we don't have real enemies and get the military industrial complex off our back. Right. I want to do convert to a Green New Deal, not the one that crazy Ocasio-Cortez is talking about, because we already have a Green Deal. The idea of of segueing into uh, alternative energies is something that we should have done, you know, a century ago. Well, whenever the, the solar panels became efficient, we should have been doing that. But to to then move away from fossil fuels, so we get big oil off our back, right? Those are some ideas, right? Legalize drugs so that we get, get the, the, the prison industrial complex off our back. These are smart ideas. These are ideas, forward-thinking ideas by forward-thinking people. So chew on that for a while. Marcus Conti reporting.